for everyone else. For a financial reality check, Ramsey Solutions' Jade Warshaw joins us now. Jade, good to see you. So what, what is going on with these people who've taken out loans, gotten the benefit of an education, and now don't want to pay them back? Oh my goodness. Well, first off, thanks for having me on. And uh, I call it the stimulus check effect, yes. right? It's this idea that if we, you know, we can spend what we want, we can accumulate this debt, and not only will the government come and save me, but the government should come and save me. I'm entitled to their payments. And that is just completely false. It's completely erroneous. The fact of the matter is you signed on the dotted line, you've got to pay it back. And instead of making all these excuses, these student loan borrowers need to start making Making progress. Jade, how do you get through to these people? Because it seems like this attitude is worsening despite the fact that Dave Ramsey has been out there for years preaching the opposite, that you're out there with your own story preaching the opposite. What is wrong with them? <laughs> You know, I try to use my story as the bait. You know, a lot of times people think it's impossible, Jade, to pay off your student loans, but I'm telling them it's not impossible. At one point, my husband and I had over $280,000 of student loans, and yes, Spoiler alert, we paid them off. And it wasn't a magic trick. It wasn't something, you know, that, that only secrets of the rich can do. It was something that we did making $30,000 a year, okay? We were able to get our income up, we were able to work a plan, and we were able to pay off the debt, and you can too. You know, there's a moral hazard here where if you don't pay back your student loans or don't think you have to pay back your student loans, maybe I don't have to pay back my car loan or I don't have to pay back my mortgage. I don't have to pay back my credit card debt. The hazard is real for people thinking when they take out debt, they don't have to pay it back. Yeah, that's right. It is a slippery slope, but it all goes back to the fact that we did not learn this in school. There is a real mm. problem and there's a real gap in financial literacy. You know, we are seeing studies that say that 88% of adults don't feel like they were prepared to handle their money in the real world. And that's why we've got to start mandating that financial literacy be taught in schools and curriculums like the one we offer here at Ramsey Solutions, uh, foundations and personal finances are a great place to start. And it's also freedom. Debt, you know, oh, no yeah. debt mm -hmm. is, is freedom. That's right. It's all about peace. It's all about that freedom and knowing that I, ca I have control over my money. I don't have to borrow money from a financial institute. I can take my cash and make those dollars work for me. I can get on a budget and I can pay off my debt. Jade Warshaw, great advice. Thanks for joining us.